We want to talk about tracking model changes, which is always an important part for any type of coordination uh, for 3D model changes. This is uh, will work with your IFC file, not with the RVT file. Okay. So if you are working with IFC uh, and you do you want to track the model changes, this is actually a great way. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, the IFC has been around now. It's, it's a lot more robust in terms of it, what it can do in ARCHICAD and, and how it can function between ARCHICAD and Revit and other programs as well, like Tecla. So uh, you're going to have more uh, ability to, to take advantage of many more opportunities to use that information in ARCHICAD um, from IFC. And this is one of them. So tracking model changes, we can actually, um, uh, so what we can do here is we can actually go um, and it'll detect, as this example shows, kind of um, if we have two versions of our structural model, we brought one in last week and now we've got another new one. We're going to be able to track new, deleted, and modified um, elements. So the new would show as blue, uh, any deleted elements would show as red, and any modified elements would show as green. And anything that was not touched in the, the pro process between the old version and the new version will just appear as, as um, black. So here, if we've got Revit, uh, just to kind of show that, you know, if we go into Revit, we make some changes uh, to our uh, work. We delete some options in here, or we make some changes to our options. Uh, when we go to export that information, and we export that to ARCHICAD, we can then import that into ARCHICAD using this process. We go to interoperability we, uh, under our file menu, we select IFC, and then we select detect IFC model changes. That is then going to bring up this dialog, which allows us to then go and browse for a um, IFC file. So I could browse for uh, what's the older version. I could browse for my newer version, um, then go next. I'm then going to go through the process of defining um, any uh, op options I want here to narrow that set of elements to be compared. It's then going to go and show me uh, what are the new elements. In this case, I've got two new elements, the modified elements. I've got one and what deleted elements. And then once I sort of go through that and go merge, it's then going to show me um, in ARCHICAD first. It's going to ask me vertically what position I want this to be placed in. I'll just go to defaults as the original was defined. Okay. And then it's going to show me in my markup tools where those elements are at. In this case, it's going to show that, you know, as I mentioned, the blue, um, you know, are uh, new, reds were deleted, green has changed, et cetera. So you can kind of uh, begin to see that information very quickly. And then it uses the markup tools to help us see those elements. So if I want to go find a specific element, I can just select this, select this button right there that would then zoom to that element um, and select it. And this is a really fast way of being able to uh, you know, see, and I can turn those information on and off too. So if I wanted to hide, for example, all the elements are deleted now, I can simply click the little I here next to the deleted element. And it's then gonna hide those deleted elements, but at least it gives me um, an understanding of what changed on the structural side. So I don't have to go through a bunch of red line drawings to kind of figure that out. 